नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श चो आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम्स यू ऑल हियर जी स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स विल मोर हेयर विथ ऑक्सिलियरी वर्ब्स एंड एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वायर्स विथ ऑक्सिलियरी वर्ब विथ ऑल द थ्री सेंटेंस पेटर अब टी नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड सिंपल affirmative negative interrogative sentence with active to passive voice that structure we have completed now we are going ahead with the auxiliary verb if uh, auxiliary verb is given in the sentence at the time how we will move ahead from active voice to passive voice very simple idea all the four steps what we are having that only we will follow is to o o to s to b and pp now there will be a question in your mind that auxiliary verbs are given how we will think for to be formed according to given tense because basically we know it that whenever we are using auxiliary verb at the time how we will go for the tense tense will not be given over there because auxiliary verb is used but very simple idea in active voice this will be given can will be given could will be given may will be given what would be the to be form of this auxiliary simple we have to add be over there if can is given that will be converted into can be if could is given that will be converted into could be if may is given that will be converted into may be very simple one thing i'll tell you now up till now i have not given any idea about simple future tense why is it so because so far as simple future tense is concerned you can consider shall and will as auxiliary verb as auxiliary verbs shall and will that is the basic fundamental tool to make simple future tense because with shall and will you will use v form bas that is the basic structure of simple future tense i have not touched up till now simple future tense why is it so due to this reason i will not teach you simple future tense i will teach you auxiliaries and with this auxiliaries automatically simple future will be over why is it so because shall and will is equal to shall is given that will be converted into shall be will is given we will be will will be converted into will be very simple why is it so because what is given in av b only will be added in pv can to can be shall to shall be will to will be may to may be could to could be must to must be might to might be ought to ought to be very simple must to must be these all are the auxiliary verbs with these auxiliary verbs you will convert active voice to passive voice two examples i have given over here she or mira can give this is affirmative sentence she oblique mira can give all the answers all the answers that is o1 that will be on the place of subject all the answers if can is given can will be converted into can be the same thing is used here can be next to that past participle of given verb is equal to given if by mira by mira if she is given that should be converted into her in this way we have completed auxiliary verb with affirmative sentence very simple next to that radha will bring i told that up till now i have not touched the simple future tense and for that purpose only i have given one example for can another example for future tense but i will not tell here future tense i will tell here only one thing and that is auxiliary verb radha will bring sweets Oh, next to that, these all are the 
extensions for all the friends. Sweets will be bring brought brought brought. Sweets will be brought for all the friends. By Radha, what I have done here, nothing else. Given his will, this will is converted into will be. In this way, we have completed affirmative sentence. Now you will ask, what's about it? negative sentence? Very simple, very simple. I have written here to be. Wherever to be is used, soon after that you have to use not. Wherever auxiliary is used, soon after auxiliary you have to use not. Wherever home, have home is given, after have home you have to use not. Same thing is given here, if can plus not is given. In the sentence, can not is given. Then what shall we do? Simple idea. Here we have to add not. Could not is given. Because we have written soon after auxiliary, we have to. Can be not. That's wrong one. Why is it so? Because here it is written. If B form is given, soon after B form not. If auxiliary is given, soon after auxiliary. If help form is given, soon after help form. After auxiliary B form, it is not written here. It is not written. This is auxiliary B form. This is pure auxiliary. Got the idea? So that, what shall we do? Can not is given, we will convert can not be. Could not is given, we will use could not be. The same thing, she oblique mira can give, here we will add not. She oblique mira cannot give all the answers. All the answers can, here we have to add not. All the answers can not be given by mira or by her. What is this? Very simple idea. Very simple. Next to that here, Radha will bring. Soon after Radha, Radha will not bring sweets for all friends. What you will do there? Radha will be not. That is strong one. Radha will not be sorry sweets will not be brought for all the friends by radha in this way we have completed auxiliary verb with negative sense from active voice to passive voice now you will tell what's about interrogative sentence earlier in the interrogative sentence only i have told you what will you do simple what is here that should be on number one here all the answers can uh, sorry she or mira can give all the answers this can be can only will be replaced and we will start the sentence here with can can mira give all the answers here you will add a question mark can is here, the same thing, can will be here, we will be here only. Can be all the answers given, then it is wrong. Here only I told you, B form is given only B form. If auxiliary is given only auxiliary. If have form is given only have form, will be on number one. Then afterwards, what is connected with B form? What is connected with auxiliary? What is connected with have form? That will be at own place. This only will be on the initial place or initial stage. So that can Mira give all the answers? Same one. Can. Can all the answers be given by Mira, by her? At last, interrogative mark as it is without any change. In this way, we have completed Active voice and passive voice with auxiliary verb and with auxiliary verb, affirmative sentence formula we have completed. 
Negative sentence formula we have completed. Interrogative sentence formula also we have completed. Pay attention here exactly. Up till now I have not told you anything else about uh, simple future tense. Why is it so? Because simple future tense I have converted into auxiliary verb. Whatsoever is given in simple future tense. Simple future. I am not talking other future tenses. I am talking about only and only simple future tenses. What is given in simple future tense that will be according to this pattern. Shall is given, that will be give, uh, converted into shall be. If will is given, that will be converted into will be. This thing you will keep it in your mind up till now. Simple present and simple past I have completed. Here, simple present, simple past, simple future is automatically con completed with auxiliary verbs. With appropriate negative and interrogative sentence formula. Good idea. Once again, I will give you two or three four five seconds extra for your snapshot for your screenshot so that you can understand it you can write down it in an exact way in a right way in your book okay thank you thanks a lot for joining us